Homegrown Country Homestead friends, how y'all doing today? Well, I got a, a package I'm going to open up, uh, something I ordered uh, a couple weeks ago and it finally came in, and I want to share what it is with y'all uh, what I ordered me was a uh, new chainsaw this is the first chainsaw that I've ever ordered uh, online and this particular one is a uh, John Cutter chainsaw it's a CSG 5800 and uh, there's a outside cover and the brake Came with a fuel mixing bottle and tool kit. And here's the power head right here. Get it out of this box. Came with an instruction manual. be my first uh, Chinese made chainsaw so I'm curious to see how it does. I know there's a lot of different ones on the internet for selling. A lot of them just you know the same ones I'm sure they just rebadged their different names. But, uh, I bought this particular one from Farmer Tech. So uh, they packaged it up real good. good experience to have for my first chainsaw uh, order online from China it's broken right out of the box so that's not a good thing um, as you know as good as it was packaged um, it's broken so uh, I guess I get to send this back to them. Uh, that's unfortunate I thought I was going to get to uh, give a review of this chainsaw so, you know, I'm not really sure uh, if it's just the quality of the plastic itself that's just no good or uh, if it was damaged. Because it was definitely shipped uh, properly, you know, my opinion, in the box. Uh, didn't seem to have no damage on it. Uh, it was packaged well. It just, uh, that's unfortunate. So, uh, I guess I'll be sending this all back to them, and uh, I hate that. Well, this video is uh, not what I expected, but anyway. Yeah, there's several things broken on it here. Uh, this uh, chain guard right here. It goes right in here. It's this broken. And the uh, handle's broken on it. Take this off. While, while I'm making a video here, might as well just go ahead and take some of this apart here to see, uh, see what is, uh, how it's made there. It's got just a regular mesh type filter on it. It's not really, uh, I'm going to say just a real heavy duty type filter. It's just a common mesh filter there. Um, let's see here. Fuel lines look alright. Um, 
they don't look too cheap. It's got a uh, metal carburetor on it. Let me see if I can see the name on it. I can't see a name on the carburetor. But, um, got a toggle, metal toggle switch on it. I kind of like that. And uh, just got a pull on, pull off choke. Metal lever down in here. Plastic knob, so I guess that's all right. Um, it's lightweight. Showing it needs a 25 to 1 fuel mixture ratio. So uh, that's a little bit more than you. I usually run a 40 to 1. But uh, I recommend a Chinese saw. They do little things a little different. Need up extra oil in it. Got an outboard clutch on it. Um, let me see here. On this cover here. The chain tincture on this particular saw is going to be on the front of your uh, outside cover. So. break um yeah i'm a little concerned to be honest with you at this point you know i'm not really sure if i'm wanting i'm not sure if i'm wanting to go back this all or not now um uh, after getting this handle that's broken i don't know it just might be a fluke it might have been dropped on the end and snapped it off way it looks like it's, it just broke it from the end right here So something, apparently it got dropped on the end, I'm assuming, during the shipment. And uh, now I'm not gonna say that, that's not, that's not the first thing. I, I got a uh, Dewalt planer that I just purchased and I ordered from uh, Home Depot and they sent it here to my house here and uh, opened it up uh, yesterday and it's damaged. Uh, it won't go up and down. So, you know, them uh, shipping, uh, Accidents, I guess they do have, you know, uh, or just get lemons from the factory, either one. I don't know if in that particular case if it was a damage during shipping or just uh, that way from the factory. But uh, anyway, this bar that I ordered, uh, you know, it came separate. So you just want to buy your power head. And the power head itself is like $122. Uh, then I think a bar and chain was like ten dollars or it's not much in that bar and chain don't expect too much out of the chain itself uh bar either but uh but i thought i'd give it a try you know um uh, it is a, a 58 cc saw uh, the power head i think weighs like 12.3 12.4 pounds 3.4 horsepower you know uh, i'm gonna use it to do some uh, woodwork with. I uh, bought a uh, sawmill attachment, a little small attachment I'll show y'all in a future video. And uh, I was gonna use that saw here just for that. I got a lot of other saws I could use, uh, but I guess I, I just want to excuse by me a new uh, chainsaw. <laughs> uh, no, really, uh, I, I did want to try one of these saws out. I heard some good things about them. Um, that's, that's one reason I bought it. Uh, but uh, I hope they, uh, hope the, uh, you know, shipping process, send this saw back, hope there ain't no issue with that, you know, coming from China. Make sure you wash your hands real good after hand <laughs> all this stuff. Uh, but, uh, all right, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, there ain't much more I can show you. Uh, I'm not going to gas it up, oil it up, anything like that, try it out. Just ain't no sense in it. I'm just going to contact uh, the company there. And, let them know I got a damaged saw and see what they're going to do about it. But hey, I appreciate y'all coming along today. Maybe my uh, next video I'll show you, maybe I'll get my saw back or I don't know, I may upgrade to a different saw or something. But uh, I'll bring y'all along and uh, hope y'all enjoy today's video. It's, it's not exactly how I want it to turn out, but hey, that's all right. You know, you know things don't always go as planned, but uh, I just want to bring y'all along today, show this new uh Chainsaw, broken chainsaw that I received through the mail. <laughs> and uh, as usual, friends, 
I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate all new subscribers and my old friends that have been watching this for a while there. Uh, I, I like saying that. I know I keep saying that, but I, I don't like using that term subscriber, you know. Y'all y'all my friends, y'all take y'all's time out and watch my videos, you know, y'all my friends, you know. So I appreciate y'all coming along and as usual for my family years. Y'all have a blessed day, friends. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.